Ninja Initiate Rapper. Yes, Master. You've trained under me for five years. After rigorous tests and trials, you've mastered hundreds of ninja techniques. I hereby bestow upon you the title of Dazzling Ninja, entrusting you to be my weapon, to defeat the evil ninja, and guide the ninja capital into the future. Thank you, Master Kucha. This is my greatest honor. Take the scroll with you, for within its pages lie the secrets of Dazzling Ninjutsu. It shall cast a brilliance that makes fiendlings fear and destroy the evil ninja's intricate matrices. Paint it throughout the ninja capital. Banish the shadows with ink and raise the banner against evil. What should I paint? I do not know, my disciple. You may paint anything that you wish. This is your own ninjutsu. So, the decision is yours to make. Reach boot hill. Do you think we can trust Rappa? This might sound rude, but the only proof of her being a ranger is her peculiar behavior. But her concerns are valid. I also find the sudden obsession with monkeys to be rather uh, unusual. Come to think of it. Ever since we arrived here, the presence of that little monkey has been making me feel a little unsettled. Let's go and take a look at the classes, shall we? Uh-huh. I thought all classes were cancelled. A Dreamweaving class will start soon at Dreamweaver Academy. It's more part of the anniversary celebrations than it is a regular class. Slumber Nana Monkey's rise in popularity seems quite unnatural. If someone is stirring things up behind the scenes, we need to pay close attention to the actions of the teaching staff. Uh, sure. We have to attend classes sooner or later anyway. Dreamweaving classes at the Stage Plaza. Let's go take a look. You're mistaken! Utterly mistaken! Slumber Nana Monkey is by no means an ordinary cartoon character! Dreams are the canvas of one's subconscious. Within it, even a banana can carry intricate emotions. Not to mention the Slumber Nana Monkey, adored by countless ripe bananas! Yo! Baseball Bat Ninja! Ninja Ruby! Ninja Hiryu! Uh, you don't need to individually greet everyone. So, are you also here for the class, Miss Rappa? Certainly. Great ninjas think alike. This class dojo seems shady. It harbors feelings. Exercise caution, fellow ninja warriors. Seems like we've got everyone. All right, let's dive right into our academics. Today's session is about decorating the campus to your liking. Here, grab one of these.
The materials that form the dreamscape are completely different from those in reality, and the same theories apply to dream weaving. What you're holding is memetic da, which is made from memoria. Let's use it to decorate this wall. The theme will be everyone's favorite monkey, Slumber Nana Monkey. So this class is about painting? No, no. Dream weaving is completely different from painting. Let me show you, Banana. Oh, how did you paint that so quickly? It's like magic! Calm your mind. Visualize what you want to create. Channel your emotions to resonate with the materials. And there you have it. Your imagination will come to life in the dream. That's dream weaving, Banana! I see. <laughs> Banana. Hmm? Bana, bana, don't worry! Mimetic dye can affect the viewer's emotions. It seems this painting has helped you understand Bana gibberish better! <laughs> Great! Ah, that's it for my demonstration. Who would like to give it a try? What is happening? My mouth was running on autopilot. Class definitely seems fishy. I'll go and investigate. Uh, but you'd draw too much attention if you started speaking bananas too, Don Hung. Uh, how about she and I go instead? We're not usually that serious, so even if we mess up, it won't stand out too much. Great, let's head out. A banana advisor? Well, we would love to try. <laughs> me, uh, me too. Excellent! You can all come up here. Those who excel might even earn some course credits, banana. First, calm your mind. <sighs> then, visualize what you want to create. Long time no see, Outlander. You are our clan's savior, 
and the king hunter who took away the trash. How could you give in now? Shut it, monkey from another land. You can't just break our destined chain so easily. Lastly, channel your emotions to resonate with the materials. understand the affection in my words. 
Both you and the other girl have some talent. Unlike her, she has no talent whatsoever to speak of. Pursuing something she can never reach is straying farther from happiness. That's why it's only right to give up for now. Have you concluded your articulation, sir? If so, please cast your attention this way. What? Who are you? And when did you get here? Wait, what in the banana is this? I present to you the Dazzling Seal! I am eagerly anticipating your appraisal of it, Big Head Fiendling. Feel that thought out of your head! Is that permanent ink? This magnificence is conceived by none other than Patissier Ninja Initiate. At that precise instant you turned around, a look of dawning Eureka graced her visage. Inspiration surged through her, and this came to fruition in just point one microseconds. Imperceptible, even with a ninja's hypersight. What on the nonsense is that? I know it was you! Cooked salmon cannot swim, just as ninjas never deceive. All ninja initiate to see I needed was a little nudge. I willingly became her paintbrush to aid her in completing her training. Is that fair to say, Ninja Initiate Patissier? Huh? Um... As stated in the Cosmic Ninjutsu inscriptions, Pythons slither without feet, as Manta Rays glide without wings. If your decision is firm, don't hesitate to roar with conviction! They must never deny any ninja initiate of their way of the ninja! Uh, yeah! You were being way too mean to her! And my six phase dice is pretty good too! Ah, you've really been annoyed me, unruly monkey! You barged in here, disrupting my class, and now you're even corrupting my students with ruinous ideas! Get out! Or my iron fists will show you some banana enlightenment! The same goes for you, no good monkey in fighters! What's it got to do with us? Alas, <laughs> the pretense of your tyranny has shattered. With that, a magnificent hunt shall be set in motion! I weep for the departed. It too shall fall. Now that you are vanquished at our feet, allow me to recite to you the ninja mantra. Doesn't matter what the rules say. If you bring the violence, then the violence is coming back your way. All right, girl. You've already crushed it. The university failed to take these banana advisors in hand. 
Please accept my apology for the distress they brought upon you. Are you perhaps the governor of Paperfold Town? Governor? <laughs> you humor me. I'm merely an educator. Here on our campus, our students are the true masters. I came over after hearing of a ruckus in the Dreamweaving class. But it seems like it was these Sweet Dreams troop who went out of control. My apologies once again. Pardon me, but I don't think I have seen you around here before. You're not a student of Paperfold University, are you? I'm only asking because we know a stowaway has recently snuck into Penacony. Eyewitness accounts from the Bloodhounds describe someone with pink hair, red attire, and a blazing scarf. You seem to match that description. No need to beat around the bush, sir. Of course. What I'm trying to say is... If the stowaway is indeed plotting something nefarious, it wouldn't make sense for them to attend classes at Paperfold University. So, I'm certain you're just an inquisitive student. Wait, what? Every banana seedling has the potential to bear fruit. That's why everyone deserves banana enlightenment. Paperfold University advocates freedom in education. So feel free to sit in our classes and be sure to apply yourself. Join me in a round of applause for our new student. Are there really ninjas on your planet? Hmm. Uh, Rappa? Thank you for standing up for me earlier. Um, could you show me how you did that graffiti? I mean, your ninja move? That's ninjutsu I learned by myself. It's hard to teach it to others. But I say with certainty that you will discover your own way of the ninja someday. Yes, destiny is no different than a banana peel. Like bananas within their peels, we can never break free of its encapsulation. Like things blew up real quick. Everyone's flopped. Jeez, please tell me they're still duking it out with the teacher. Hey, isn't that Montana? Oh, say cheese! And Don Hong and Superstar 2. We meet again. <laughs> um, I came up with that name on the fly, so let's forget about it. Uh, just call me March. Gotcha! You can drop Montana, too! I'm now known as Denisovan426! Denisovan426? That's right! I finally got into the Slumber Nana Association! The GOAT Club at Paperfold University! And that's my name at the club! That's my membership number! Each member has their own unique number! The Slumber Nana Association was founded by fans of Slumber Nana Monkey. Our fan base stretches far beyond the campus and includes ripe bananas from all over Penacony. We create fan art and merch based on Slumber Nana, host Slumber Nana cons, and hold a few other off-campus events from time to time. Bid you to join us? I can refer you! Oh, wow, that sounds like a lot of fun! you get all of us in? Count on me! It's just that the club has a rigorous screening procedure and we only take in a few members each time. If I refer March in, then the two of you... I'll pass. Okie dokie! This coveted spot will 
will go to March then. Oh, there's an off-campus event happening later today at a supposedly mysterious location. I can't wait! Great. Uh, let me say goodbye to those two, and then you can show me where to sign up. Good job playing along back there, guys. Things are getting weirder, huh? This monkey even has a fan club now. But since we have a way to get into the club, I'll go see what they're up to. Will you be alright on your own? Yeah, it's less suspicious than all three of us joining the club together. Let's split up for now. This way you two can keep an eye on what's going on in the campus. Please, be careful. Aww, I will. Don't worry about me. You too. Catch you guys later. Hmm. I hope she'll be okay. <clears throat> um, Prof Nano was clearly steering the conversation his way earlier. Let's go find Rappa and hear what she thinks. Bana. What was that? Huh? Slumber Nana Monkey? I see a tag on it. P. Lynn Ritchie, Fortune Academy. This is the toy you ordered. It looks rather unique. ran off. What now? All right, let's go get the toy back then. Uh. Does this toy have a life of its own? <sighs> Isn't this the way to the Fortune Academy? Rappa. When did you Give me a break, miss! I I'll repeat this for the millionth time! I'm not evil! Nor do I sell any Gorge Row! Nay, Ninja Initiate Merchant! The other Initiates have verified that these fiendly puppets are from your shop! Confess at once! Are you under the spell of evil Ninja Osaru? Oh, hey, it's you! Uh, please! Uh Help me talk some sense into her. I'm just a well-behaved student working to pay my tuition fees, not whatever initiate she thinks I am. Never mind that. The monkey you sold us keeps running off on its own. Are you sure it's just a toy? Feeling puppets imbued with life. The epitome of ninja automation. You rich folks are just being unreasonable. If it were really some high-end stuff, would I be selling it at such a low price? Please, take pity on this poor student. Have a heart. You know, as if squeezing in sales between classes isn't enough, I haven't slept a wink in three days just so I can get this batch of toys ready. Richie! How could you speak so rudely to your customers? Oh, oh, Fortune Banana Advisor! Customer is always right! So not teach you that! Greetings, dear students. This fiendling assumes the form of an insect-like pest. Clearly a lowly fiendling. What did you just say? Repeat that if you dare! Uh, an ad advisor? The customer is always right. <laughs> Pardon me. My dear students, you may have some misunderstanding about Fortune Academy's new product. These monkey toys are made this lively so that they bring more emotional value to our young customers. Paperfold University might seem to be an enjoyable place, but beneath their peels, many students are in fact bogged down by loneliness. You know, 
struggling to embrace the vibrant energy here in the moment of soul, but also realizing that they're unable to live as the Penaconians do. But a slumber nana monkey is the perfect companion! It won't compete with grades, won't compare itself to you, won't use your things without asking. You can trust it completely without worrying about it sharing your secrets with others. Consider it your bestest pal, Nana! But my gosh, look at the time! I have to get ready for my dreamscape marketing class! Excuse me, students. I'll take all other questions after class. I, I should get to my class, too. But do me a favor, buddies. Just come look for me if you need anything. Let's not involve Banana Advisor again. Uh, I doubt he'll say anything more. Let's just follow him and see what we can learn. Banana! Banana! This atmosphere. I sold everything from the last batch. That's fantastic news! We underestimated Slumber Nana Monkey's popularity! Come with me, Richie. I'll, I'll get you more stock. So the Fortune Academy is supposed to promote these toys. But why did they rope students into their plan? But uh, but uh... It's a shame we don't understand its banana gibberish. Oh, I have an idea. Can you use clockwork on it? I'm counting on you, banana. Huh?
It's working. Huh. It seems to be leading us somewhere. Let's catch up. Uh, why does it feel like I've been on a wild monkey chase all day? And fiend link pest! Uh, Fortune Banana Advisor? Aren't we supposed to pick up more stock? I don't see anything here. Jeez! Dream Leaver Banana Advisor said you get a new batch ready. Looks like we can't rely on him, but not. By the way, Banana Advisor, did those people willingly become monkeys? Can't you see how happy it is being a monkey? <laughs> oh, uh, I... I... guess not. I take it you haven't been paying attention in class, huh? Or did those guest students plant unrealistic ideas in your head again? Do you have the slightest idea about the backgrounds of those nameless? You're just a poor student from a faraway fringe planet, one that relies on the IPC for aid. Do you really think you can compare yourself to them? I know I can't measure up to those bigwigs, but there are things I hope to achieve too. I get it. You're aiming to make a lot of money. After all, the sky-high tuition fees at Paperboard University can really take a toll on the average middle-class family. Oh, I heard your father came to Patagonia too. Oh, he's been working day and night ever since taking up a new job at Dawn Factory, hasn't he? Oh, but no, how touching. How, how did you know that? Bana, bana. He swung by a few days ago to check on how you're doing. I took the time to chat with him. Looking at how old he is, my heart really went out to him. Throwing in most of his life savings, only to slog his guts out in a foreign land. I could sense his exhaustion and distress. So, I instilled in him the tenets of our banacademics Convincing him that becoming a slumber than a monkey is the right thing to do. Oh, that's right. He's in the batch of toys that you just delivered. Ooh, quite a turn of events, huh? What? How could you? But uh... Could it be the father of Ninja Initiate Merchant? Merchant Chief? Why? Because your dad was simply too tired. I asked if he ever had regrets, and he said no. But when I stripped away that banana peel facade, what I found was the expulsion warning letter for him. Of course, but no! Why didn't I realize this sooner? You're a hopeless student. <laughs> Rather than squandering our educational resources on you, why don't you become one of Fortune Academy's products? At least scrape some work out of yourself, banana! <laughs> I assured your father that you get to be happy like him. It's time for you to rest, Richie. Why did it come to this? What use is it for me keeping up the struggle if you've already given up, Dad? Dad, there's nothing else keeping me going. But not. Something's happening to Richie. We have to stop him. Pest! What tricks did you pull on Ninja Initiate Merchant? Yeah. How did a ninja get in here? I have no hands to begin with, Bana! Hold your banana, students! Allow me to explain myself. 
I was only trying to help relieve those pitiful kids of their suffering, letting them enjoy the rest of their happy life from a different perspective. And maybe make some extra cash while I'm at it, but this isn't anything new in Panacone. You may have your esteemed background and a never-ending supply of credits, but that's not the case for my students. All I did was offer a better alternative, one that both father and son willingly took up. Seems like a fair and banal-worthy deal, wouldn't you say so? As stated in the Cosmic Ninjutsu inscriptions, Sizzling yakitori knows not refreshing ice, as chilled sashimi knows not blazing fire. If Ninja Initiate Merchant has indeed chosen the way of the Fiend, it is not my place to intervene. But not cheese! I didn't count on you being this reasonable. Your words alone will not suffice. Ninja Initiate Merchant, is this truly your intention? Bana? He does not seem capable of a response. Merchant Chief, is this a willing decision of yours? Uh, uh, Deceitful feeling! You spoke with a forked tongue! They can't prove a word of your claims! Bananas! Monkeys can't speak the human language! In that case... Your calling is to render those in misery blind and deaf? Oh, utter absurdity! The path to hell is paved with heavenly treasure. Devil's trying to fool you better, get your head together. The hunter's high greed with a welcoming smile. Don't be beguiled, it could be your last smile. Censure shall not fall upon the ensnared ninja initiate, but the trap's orchestrator ought to be punished. I beckon the ninja hunt upon you! Say your final words, feedling pest! A banana was that! Assistant others! Beat her to a pulp! Congratulations, <laughs> banana advisor, for actual back. Just what is your goal? <laughs> The truth, everything in this world is bleeding. I weep for the departed. <laughs> 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 Resorting to sorcery to turn ninjas into feedlings? Ugh, dreadfully horrid. Ah, <sighs> looks like he completely malfunctioned. Huh, something's awry. I believe I should have held back in the ninja battle just now. Perhaps someone is controlling these feedlings behind the scenes. No matter. The Feedling deserves its rightful punishment! Ninja Initiate Merchant, though... Bana... Bana! 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 Ninja Initiate Merchant succumbed to their sorcery. He is expected to be out of action for a while. <sighs> Miss Rappa, can we talk about why the Rangers came to Penaconi now? Did you pick up on something, Ninja Hiryu? <sighs> Even though I had doubts before, it was only when I saw this that I felt sure of it. The sworn enemy of the Galaxy Rangers. The horrific scientist who transforms humans into monkeys. The evil ninja Osaru you spoke of. It's Dr. Primitive, isn't it? Astute! Evil ninja Osaru. It's definitely evil ninja Osaru! <sighs> Member number 64 of the Genius Society, 
Dr. Primitive. No one knows his real name, but his atrocities are infamous throughout the cosmos. The most horrifying one of all has to be his atavistic experiment. The dozens of worlds he caught up in this experiment were mostly home to prosperous interstellar civilizations. But every single one of these planets was reduced to a regressed form of intelligence by the time he was done with them. Intellitrons deteriorated into mere machines. Zatskas regressed into birds. And even the most ubiquitous human civilizations were subjected to the same fate. Millions of apes and monkeys now wander amidst the ruins that they once called home. If Dr. Primitive is indeed behind this, we must alert the Astral Express and the family at once. We won't be able to avert this crisis on our own. Facing such an amoral emanator of erudition, even the slightest of negligence could bring unimaginable consequences. Your analysis is accurate. However, in my humble opinion, now may not be the best time to call the Harmony Shogunate for aid. As stated in the Cosmic Ninjutsu Inscriptions, when the net is cast for a catch, ready yourself to land a fish or forgo your net. With evil Ninja Osaru lurking in the shadows, and our locations not yet compromised, I suggest laying low to avoid alerting the monkeys. Rest assured, I've delegated Silvergun Shira to investigate the Forbidden Ground. Being the chivalrous and exceptional ninja hero he is, I have faith Silvergun Shira will accomplish the assigned mission. At this juncture, our priority is to rescue the ninja initiates of Paperfold Town. What ninja heroes would we be if we left those defenseless initiates to the monkeys? If we don't rescue those before us, how can we hope to save the world? Indeed. We must not leave the students to fend for themselves. There you are! I finally found you, my beloved talents! It's... Ninja Gamma! Oh! <laughs> I see this actor is creative with her words. Mr. Rekka? Um... Do you need our help with something? Ah, yes! Charmony Academy is filming a promotional video for their anniversary, but... The Banana Advisor hasn't found anyone that makes the cut. That's why I'm here! To recruit students with greater acting potential. Like you, a big shot with a brilliant pass. And you, a superstar that everyone will have their eyes on. And this actress with personality. Please join us in the performance. Considering how Charmony Banana Advisor's a creator of the Slum Banana Monkey, I believe only young and talented people such as yourselves <clears throat> will be the ones to catch her discerning eye. Uh-huh. I see. Thank you for thinking so highly of us, Mr. Rekka. We'll make sure to drop by. That's the way! You will be at the photography studio. See you later. Charmony Banana Advisor must be in league with the mastermind behind this. And I can't help but feel like there's more than meets the eye with Mr. Rekka. I concur with you. Ninja Hiryu is a punctilious ninja indeed. Skills alone won't cut it. 
They need to adore Slumber Nana with every fiber of their being, Banana! Charmony Banana Advisor, I have a few candidates here. <laughs> Perhaps they will be to your liking. Oh? They seem to have potential, Banana Banana. I hope you don't leave me disappointed. Hmm... Is this evil feeling a dragon or a monkey? Monkey? No, I mean... Uh, I'm Charmony, the Nan Advisor! <sighs> How wonderful it is to have been scouted by Mr. Rekka! A faith in a professional director's judgment. Have your scripts ready, actors. Show the Banana Advisor what you're capable of. the actors to their roles then the leading role of brave monkey shall be mr Rekka, i i i want to try this role again Vanilla. Ooh. your earlier performance was disappointing enough it's fine let's give this proactive actress one more shot brave monkey is known for its can-do attitude too Next up is Wise Monkey, who guides Brave Monkey. Your disposition makes you perfect for this role, Don Hung. As you wish. And finally, we have the villain, the Devil of Stress. I'm confident you'll nail it, Superstar. <laughs> The role of a conflicted villain requires sublime acting. An improvised lines further demand a robust foundation in the art. You are the only one who can take on this most challenging role. Not so fast. What role do I play? Oh, it seems all the roles have been assigned. But yes, we'll need someone to narrate. Rapa the narrator, this is your role. A lofty ninja hero relegated to the likes of a narrator? <sighs> so be it. We'll begin once everyone's ready. The assistant director's camera is ready to roll. Actors, are you banana ready? Then get on stage! Mr. Rekka, get the cameras rolling, banana. Actors, take your positions. Three, two, one. Action! Dreamscapes glowing, gold halls flowing, a legendary feast about to get going. Whoa, stop! What banana nonsense are you reciting? This is the ninja mantra. Embellishing words with ninja enchantments is bound to make the play a hundred times more vivid. <sighs> I knew this student wasn't reliable. Forget it! Focus on Slumber Nana Monkey only. Nothing else matters. Then I'll continue. From the hearts of men, monsters arise. The banquet turns to scorch earth, laughter to cries. A passing hero lends a hand, <laughs> no surprise. I'm up next. I have to come up with something obnoxiously conceited. Name's Devil is Stress. Straight out of hell, students better quit play and ring the alarm bell. One word from me, the whole zone's in despair, leaving scars so deep a lifetime to repair. Such a tyrannical rendition of the mantra of the ninja, Beast Ball Bat Ninja. Oh, fail! This isn't a rap class. Bana, bana, bana. Fail! Brave Monkey is the savior of our university. It would never 
utter such dainty banana gibberish. So sorry, banana. Let me try that again. Banana, banana, banana. Suffering and pain, the fruits of blind hate. A hero draws a sword, ready for the fight to break. Banana, banana. I'm not to get up again. Brave monkey hasn't gained the power to defeat the devil of stress at this point. How can it possibly have so much grit? So, so sorry, Bana. I'll try again. Bana, Bana. It's my turn now. I should say something demeaning to Brave Monkey. A monkey trying to mimic heroes. Ain't that a joke? That fuzzy face of yours makes me want to choke. Get back to your cell. Munch on a snack. You want to challenge me? You ain't even on track. <laughs> a brilliantly ruthless rendition of the ninja mantra. Face love that ninja. Fail. How can you launch into a personal attack on our monkeys? Monkey fans will go into a riot. <laughs> but now. The heroes down and out, defeat hanging in the air, but in walks the master with wisdom to share. Bana! Bana, bana! Bana, bana! You! Your lines are fine. Go on. Next line. Thanks for quenching her wrath, Don Hung. The master's wisdom resonates to his core. The hero's blade sharper than ever before. Yesterday's loser is back in the fight. Fight or flight, evil doers think twice. It's my turn again. This time, I'll say something to taunt Brave Monkey. Aren't you that banab banab trash I pummeled last time? Back here looking for your banab again? See how I banab 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 you? This sort of aggression, Silver Gun Shira's words before they were sealed, must have been just as fierce as yours. Oh, through and through, fail. <sighs> Stop filming! Miss Eureka! None of them are cut out for portraying our beloved monkeys, but now... Wait! Please just give me one more! Second chances don't come around that often, girl! Please, I'm begging you! Being in one of Mr. Eureka's films is my dream! Um, don't say that. If you want my opinion, there's nothing amiss with Ninja Nishia Gagaku's acting. In fact, you are being overly critical of her. <laughs> you think? Are you the banana advisor who grades her work, or the director who assigns her roles? It's up to me to assess my students' worth in this class! <sighs> Let's stop filming, Mr. Rekka. We need to swap out the actors. Stop! No! Not yet! The show still isn't over! Ah! Banana! Banana! Not this again. It feels like I'm in a dream. Are you alright? But. But now! Bana! Bana! Bana? Bana? Bana! Looks like the Bana academics is taking effect! Bana, 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 Na 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 na
Another snare laid down by the evil ninja. Why are you still lucid? Oh, truly an incorrigible student! Nay, dinosaur fiendling! Your feeble sorcery stands no chance against my dazzling ninjutsu! Watch me snap everyone back to their senses! Hiya! Dazzling palm, light as chop! Ninjutsu inscriptions. The stone heart of a ninja is immune to pressure, immune to lies, come wind, rain, or shine. <sighs> Never forget who you truly are, Ninja Initiate Gaku. Uh, are we on to another film now? <gasps> is this going to be about ninjas? No, but we've come to the climax of the film! Just a small swap among the roles. <laughs> Charmony Banana Advisor, you're up for the villain this time. What are you even? I said to stop filming! Stop filming! Cut! When you're on my set, I am the director. Come on now, dear actors. Let's salvage this lousy film with an electric. Electrifying fight scene. Huh. Great ninja minds think alike. <laughs> I agree. <laughs> if you unruly students insist on disrupting my class, you're in for some corrective bananishment. Teach them a lesson, Assistant Anna's. From this very moment, back down, retreat, the hero says never. The way of the ninja burning in their heart forever. With fiendling blood, the sword of justice will be stained as the school will cast off every shackle, every chain. Hey! Do I really have to fight too? them destroyed. Say goodbye to evil plot strategies and ploys. The life of the party, savior of the school. Let's hear it for the hero here to keep it cool. <sighs> Ninja Nishika Gaku, deliver your final line. But for that, catch that evil thing. Your vile words cannot bring Ninja Initiate Gagaku down. It's victory for us ninjas. Hooray! Yeah! Huh. This one has ceased operating as well. It's as if some unseen puppeteer cut its strings. Ninja Gamma, can you kindly enlighten us on the proceedings thus far? <laughs> so you actors have caught on. <laughs> Let me reveal the next act in the plot then. We'll be exploring the misdeeds going down at Paper Fold University. All right now, dear actors. Ever heard of a memetic virus? Is that what Slumber Nana Monkey is? You're right. Memetic corruption comes about from the dissemination of data. 
It alters particles of information picked up by the cognitive module, skewing the sensory perception of certain objects in those that have been corrupted. Much like special effects in a film. Words, songs, videos, these are all mediums of transmission. Humans naturally have a curiosity for the unknown, and mimetic viruses take advantage of this. Mimetic corruption is known to influence one's thoughts even in the real world, and in the dreamscape. They catalyze nightmares that corrupt humans into monkeys. Hence, the evil ninja instructs the evil fiendlings to spread through media, masking it as entertainment to implant the seeds of dark sorcery in the hearts of the ninja initiates. Misappropriating the role of actual educators gave them the perfect chance to mangle the minds of innocent ninja initiates, only to hasten the growth of those fiendish seeds they sowed. And so, all ninja initiates of Paper Full Town will succumb to fiendishness, becoming puppets of the evil ninja. What a despiteous, degenerate, and dastardly ploy! Uh, what are you talking about? Are these lines in the script? This actor's lines may be somewhat cryptic, but yes, the general plot direction is on point. But, Ninja Gama, why are you bogged down by an action when you've long realized the truth behind their pretense? I'm just a director that stumbled upon a sinister plan. A reckless move on my part can bring dire consequences. It is up to very important stars like you to defeat that hell kite of a villain. These banana advisors were appointed by the acting dean, Prof Nana. I believe I don't have to make this any more explicit. Go to the Dean's office to find the answers you seek. Oh, and keep me updated on how the plot unfolds. Oh, what about my part? Do I still have any scenes coming up? You're keen about appearing in my films, aren't you? Come over here and choose a script. <laughs> Ah, what a surprise, my dear students. Hmm, no appointment or a polite knock on the door, but I welcome you nonetheless. Cease the shady evasion! I urge you to come clean now. You're evil Ninja Osaru's feeling chief, aren't you? Uh, uh, excuse me, dear student. Could you help me translate that? The short story is that a mimetic virus has broken loose in Paperfold University. It's going around infecting the students' minds as we speak. Slumber Nana Monkey is that virus, Prof Nana. And its transmission was orchestrated by none other than your banana advisors. <sighs> I thought this class would last a little longer than this. Your confession came sooner than we expected. So, is this one of Dr. Primitive's schemes? A scheme? But nah. You're thinking too highly of this place. Penacone is nothing but a cesspool of riches. It will never be worthy of the great doctor's sublime experiments on humans. Here. It's just me, a second-class research aide, working in Penacone on my graduation thesis. An atavistic experiment centered around mimetic entities. My research is going along smoothly. People here adore slumber, Nana Monkey, especially students from the youth demographic group. Soon, they'll create a new synesthesia dreamscape, the moment of slumber Nana, and foster its growth, expansion, and evolution. Endless atrocities that Osaru unleashed onto the world. Just to build an evil realm where a hundred malevolent spirits prowl at night? But the... 
Girl, I cannot begin to fathom your cryptic speech. It doesn't sound like you're speaking ill of me. Or are you? Never mind. Ordinary folks will never understand the great cause of our atavistic experiment. How about a pop quiz before I clarify your doubts? Who knows how bananas reproduce? To maintain their taste, the majority of commercial bananas are produced through asexual reproduction. Lacking seeds and pollen, they are grown from the same rhizome. That's correct. Five amber eras ago, the Intelligentsia Guild cultivated a banana species that humans deem perfect. The Golden Slum Banana. The Golden Slum Banana swiftly dominated the food market. Nutritious, sweet, and its peel gives off a mesmerizing golden sheen. It transformed every interstellar banana plantation into a spectacle akin to the golden hour at night. But it eventually became extinct, didn't it? Exactly. Because it was cultivated by humans, the slum banana lacked room for evolution. Having the same set of genes also meant sharing the same vulnerabilities. And when a fatal cosmic fungus wormed its way into the production line, the same banana species that reigned over all the others of its kind was scrubbed clean from the entire cosmos in just mere months. Are you saying that humans will suffer the same fate? Of course! The Golden Slum Banana's predecessor was the highly reproductive Jade Green Banana. If not for human intervention, it would have blossomed much more vibrantly over the years. Much like Penacone as we know it. It's a pity those on Penacone just had to be second-rate copycats. But with constructing skyscrapers, building cities, printing currencies, and even making the decision to become like the other cogs in the cosmic marketplace. Following the exact path of the Golden Slumber Nana, stubbornly holding on to the status quo, creating fatal vulnerabilities for themselves, and ultimately becoming useless. Having undergone a flawed banana enlightenment, the doctor seeks to return these misguided worlds to their embryonic potential, giving them a fresh chance to develop. This is the atavistic experiment. However, I have visited those planets. As I traveled from one planet to the other, a prevalent but unpalatable observation struck me. Not a single ninja could speak. They had all become fiendlings. <sighs> But I know for a fact that they were not born this way. The monkey that scurried past you was born to see He knew how to ferment his own wine and would do so regularly. The one in the distance, fighting with the other monkeys over a piece of fruit, used to be the smartest person on his planet. Even having the knowledge to send people soaring into the sky. But from now on, they're monkeys. Just monkeys. Am I imagining things, or did you learn how to speak like a normal person? Or could it be that this familiar scene reminded you of your past? Given the Doctor's brilliant mind, his ambitions are lofty and are sure to be realized. But the commoners, <laughs> all they do is lose themselves in unrealistic fantasies, becoming an impediment to a civilization's evolutionary progress. Whether imbued with life or not, everything ought to be used to its full potential. Oh, how long has it been now? I'm surprised that lesson hasn't stuck. Doctor's failed creation. <clears throat> Your scheme ends here. 
Oh, is that so? Ever considered why I allowed you to do as you please on campus? Even going as far as to guide you to me? Paperfold University is nothing more than an incubator. No great loss if discarded. But if it can eradicate the pests in the lab, then it'd be used to its full potential. Banana, banana. That's all I have for you. Class dismissed. Just what do you think you're doing, Memo Keeper? I've already met all your demands, dearest producer. Please hold up your end of the deal as we've agreed. Lift this abominable curse that stifles my artistic expression! Demands? I'm afraid not, Mr. Becker. Until you hand over those incorrigible and willful monkeys, you have not met all of my demands. not our deal. I went to great lengths to help you infiltrate the school, disrupted the family's surveillance, and even dealt with the ranger who was causing you the most trouble. And now you want me to give up ownership of the actors? We're talking exceptional talents that are incredibly rare to come by. They have so many more stories waiting to be unearthed. I can't allow their journey to end here. Mr. Wrecker, there is no room for negotiation here. I have no need to negotiate with a captive. If you don't acquiesce, then in less than three system hours, you'll turn into a slumber nana monkey like those students. Hand them over now if your directing career even means anything to you. No, I refuse. Prof. Nana, have you ever wondered why I ended up under your control? Tracking down the doctor's whereabouts shows you have some skill. However, believing you could follow us unnoticed was quite presumptuous, wasn't it? Even if we were to need animals for our experiment, you're nowhere near qualified. Great director. What a pity. I put my life on the line just so I could make this wonderful film a reality. I decided a long time ago that I'd do anything for art. So your threat means nothing to me. Every film crew knows full well the risks they run the moment filming begins. And in turn, a dedicated director would never stop rolling the cameras. Even if it meant having to insert an obelisk next to a crew or cast member's name in the credits. In the end, you too are just a pitiable monkey, struggling for worthless dreams. Be prepared to sacrifice yourself then. <laughs> <laughs>